Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman. I'm showing guillotine defense. How to add in a little bit of like Aikido or Aki Jiu Jitsu like arm manipulations. Not that you'll necessarily tap a guy. I'll show you how to tap an inexperienced guy. But it will open up his guard for passing after you defend the guillotine from guard. Everyone just huh, pulls their head out from guard and it's like a reset. There's no reason for it to be a reset, especially if it's not an arm and guillotine. Um, anyway, basic defense, right? He goes for a guillotine. I go hangman defense, put the hat on the ground, defend, tuck my chin to his ribs, make a little ping on him, grab his hand, and work defense. Now in reality, this takes about 30 seconds to get out, so lighten up a little bit. I put my shoulder in his throat, and once I break his grip, I turn this hand, I uh, subluxate it out, prone it, prone it, I pronate his hand out, and then I pull the head out. And people don't pronate the hand, so the difference here is, in pronating his hand, bam, I pull that on the ground, I grab it here. That's just going to make him open his guard a little bit, but right away I weave my elbow back there. I go from here, quickly drag it to there, and it's actual submission. Just keep his hand on his back and bring your elbow here. Now in reality, I pull my head out, Yep, go ahead and uh, defend it this time, and here, once I get the hands broken, boom, then I go here, defend, 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 no, defend, 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 yep, go, 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 defend, and then we're passing, see, so a more experienced guy is going to open up that guard, but you're putting enough of a lock on his elbow that it opens his guard up at a weird angle and allows you to pass. As opposed to just what we see in UFC all the time. <sighs> like, don't do that. Or you're still stuck in guard in a jiu-jitsu tournament. So as the hand comes out, I pull his hand apart. I'm going to rotate this hand facing away from him, the palm facing away from him. That's when you push and pull your head out. Right away to this, to this. And then open it up, defend. Yep, defend, 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 defend. And then see, maybe I tap him, maybe I take his back, pass his guard, whatever. But it, it, it gets you out of the guard. So you're doing the same defense as you would anyway, but you're just gonna, if this is supernate, this is pronate, so you're gonna pronate his hand out and you're doing this, and then you're doing this. So anyway guys, a little something to add to the basic Jiu Jitsu Gi Team defense everyone does. Not that it's always going to work or be 100%, but it's something that can help open up that guard to pass so it's a continuous flow instead of a reset in the guard. Okay, thank you very much.